Hey guys, so I made this video of these um, WS2812B LED addressable LEDs. They're 50-50 LEDs. And as you can see, every LED can be cut off. These are the cutoff sections. And if you've noticed, they only got three terminals, VN or DN, D out, and ground and five volt. So you can see how I have this set up and there's the controller the most common one the t1000s and uh, it comes with a 256 megabyte uh, memory card and uh, how you want to set this up is i got this old power supply from a computer and the yellows are 12 volt the blacks obviously ground and the reds are the 5 volt now this thing only needs 5 volt so what I have is I directly, one of these red wires, I have it hooked up to the five volt of this right there. And then I have the black, one of the blacks grounded. And then over here, since these are only uh, three terminals, you're only gonna be using the data in, which is the second one and the ground. And um, if you look at my LED strip, let me show you where it is. So the LED strip comes with this three pin and then it also has two other pins hanging out. So what you really want to do for the three pin, uh, you don't have to worry about the power because you're going to use the power from the one that's hanging out. So I have one of the five volt power hanging out to the power supply and then the white is the ground. So I have that hooked up to one of the grounds from to the power supply. And then for the three pin, all you have to worry about is make sure it is this side of the connection I don't know I've tried the other side for some reason it doesn't work but it makes sense because if you look at the arrows they're all pointing out that way so it makes sense that it's going this way and it has to current has to flow out this way so that's why you need this end of the LED I have here is a 5 meter so I have um, and uh, I have 50 LEDs per segment and there's five there's a total of five segments and if you can see here it starts from here it goes all the way up to here and then to continue the current I have it soldered on to where it comes this way and it's like a snake trail so it goes all the way and you can see that's the male end right there so you don't that's if you want to hook up more LEDs so I have five hooked up and and, and notice this right here, because once I go over to the computer, I'm gonna show you the schematics. You wanna set it up the same exact way. And uh, yeah, that's all you need. These are the only things you need to hook up. So like I said, from the pin, you only need the data in and the ground, which will be directly hooked up to this part of the controller. And the controller also needs power. So I have the five volt hooked up to the power supply and the ground hooked up to the power supply and that's all you need now we're going to go over to the computer side so this is the program that you use led edit 2014 now since this program you're going to start a new project and since this program as you can see it doesn't have the ws 2812b chips what you're going to do is you're going to use the preceding model which is the WS2811. Now here I'm just going to change the frame rate to 30. Everything else stays the same if you have RGB which I do. Press OK and then you're going to press this gear light layout. Now since I have 50 LEDs per segment and I have five segments total it's going to be 250 and remember what I told you guys mine starts from down here so this is where the input is so it goes like a snake and that's exactly how I have a setup so it will tell you the total 250 LEDs press OK now this is what my LED looks like and if you go to the layout just to make sure you press this and that's the first LED and that's where my input starts so that makes sense we're gonna go back we're gonna do some light effects. Let's see, move upward. Let's do um, passage. Let's, and then you're gonna press record. 
and you can see the progress right there obviously the the higher the progress the more memory it takes so I'm gonna let it do three color changes and then I will stop it and then we're gonna do a different effect let's say this one and then press record again so this is gonna go on top of what you already been recording as you can see so then I'm gonna stop it go to another double angle record that and I'm gonna stop so then you're gonna just completely go to video close video effects so it will stop that and then this icon right here where it says export effect LED or you can go here and press I keep everything the same you can you can change the you can dim the lights and whatnot I just keep everything the same press OK save it to my desktop and it saves so if you want to do text uh, you just need more segments as I've uh, realized that uh, it does bigger letters so you're gonna need more segments so in total I ordered two reels so it's 10 meters total so I can do 10 segments one meter per segment but then I realized that uh, the points every one meter they're soldering and when I cut there uh, it was really hard to reattach them so what I did is I ordered the 5 meter 300 LED so it's 60 LEDs per 1 meter but uh, I cut 10 of them off so now it's 50 per and you can open this panel as you can see here you can write whatever change see you can change the font change this press OK now this determines where you are let's go let's change this to 8 as you can see it's more visible you can do you can do it like that so it shows better but since this can't go any higher I'm just gonna record this too so record add it on top and pause so then I could quit this and now I'm gonna export this whole thing so into desktop and now right here it creates a folder so it's gonna be the second one so the way this controller accepts these LED files is it has to be 00 underscore 1 Zero one underscore one zero two, etc. etc. I'm gonna press enter. I'm gonna cut and paste it into that memory card. So I'm gonna paste, replace, and we're gonna put it back in. I'm gonna show you that right now. All right, so I put the memory card back in there. Now I'm gonna apply power. So we're gonna turn this guy on and as you can see it is doing clearly what I instructed it to do there are the letters and you want to make sure that the inputs correct you can change the colors but it doesn't really this right here the mode is for different LED files so uh, since I only have the one it doesn't really do anything it just restarts the program over so once you have several you can press the mode and it's gonna switch between the two different ones hope this video was helpful and uh, I would really suggest that you buy 10 meters total and uh, you set up at least 10 segments so that if you do do letters, then you can see the letters.